The art of kirigami involves cutting paper into intricate designs, like snowflakes. Cornell physicists are kirigami artists, too, but their paper is only an atom thick, and could become some of the smallest machines the world has ever known. A research collaboration led by Paul McEwen, the John A. Newman Professor of Physical Science and Director of the Kavli Institute at Cornell for Nanoscale Science KIC, is taking Kirigami down to the nanoscale. Their template is Graphene, single atom thick sheets of hexagonally bonded carbon, famous for being ultra thin, ultra strong and a perfect electron conductor. In the journal Nature July 29, they demonstrate the application of Kirigami on 10 micron sheets of Graphene. A human hair is about 70 microns thick, which they can cut, fold, twist and bend, just like paper. Graphene and other thin materials are extremely stable at that scale, so the researchers used an old trick to make it easier to manipulate. They suspended it in water and added surfactants to make it slippery, like soapy water. They also made gold tab handles so they could grab the ends of the graphene shapes. CO author Arthur Barnard, also a Cornell physics graduate student, figured out how to manipulate the graphene this way. The study's first author, Melina Blees, a former physics graduate student, and now a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Chicago, said she received an enthusiastic welcome from the Department of Art where the researchers spent time in the library studying paper and fabric designs and dreaming up ways to translate them to graphene. With one sheet of graphene, for example, they made a soft spring, which works just like a very flexible transistor. The forces needed to bend such a spring would be comparable to forces a motor protein might exert, McEwen said. Entering the realm of biological forces, the experiments open up a new playground of ideas for flexible, nanoscale devices that could be placed around human cells or in the brain for sensing.